Hi there. My name is Futon Revolution, and today we're going to be looking at sleeping dogs. Namely, the some of the differences between the standard and definitive versions. The definitive version just came out for Steam for $15 extra if you own the original, and $30 outright if you don't. This includes all the DLC except for the quote-unquote cheating ones that would bring you up to about level 8 on just about everything and a million plus dollars. Now, I'm running an NVIDIA card, so this your mileage may vary. The game is kind of optimized for AMD cards, and here we can see a big dip in the frames. It's about an 11 frame difference uh, going from one to the other if you're running the same settings and you're on NVIDIA. Uh, so there's a number of things that you're going to want to uh, have to do uh, to run it with an NVIDIA card. First, you're going to, uh, probably with everything, need on Steam to change your, uh, to change the address to the SDHD ship executable in the, in the folder rather than just the launcher and you're going to want the um, SSAA to be at medium that's on the same slider as the FXAA the FXAA is still going to be high SSAA is going to be medium and when you go to definitive I'm going to show at the end of the video what it looks like if you drop the SSAO down to normal, which is going to bring the FPS uh, on par with the vanilla, and actually slightly faster in points. Here's the part where the graphics start to look a little dated, <laughs> looking at the skybox there. Uh, the kind of isn't a whole lot better with the skybox, but at least the lights are better. That's one of the odd things where everything seems to have its own light source now with Definitive. Which, uh, people keep pointing out the differences in the neon signs with that where they're lit from within. That's going to become quite apparent here. Or the vanilla, if you look at that sign coming up on the right, there's times where the yellow lettering is completely illegible. If you happen to be able to read them at all. In the definitive version, we're going to see uh, like two or three lights from inside the sign, which are going to make the lettering pop a little more. I see there. As we get closer, it'll get fuzzy there, but it's back again. So, is $15 worth it? Or is this a Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut sort of thing? Uh, perhaps both. I don't know. Uh, here's uh, the part that normally runs into trouble on the benchmarks. Here on vanilla, you can see it's dropped a ton. And when we get into the definitive, you're going to see why. And you're also going to see one of the major bugs that people have been complaining about. Oh well, yeah, those frames aren't bad. You could probably get it higher if I wasn't running fraps. But here... There, that's the problem. Instead of being a floating camera, like with the other shots, here we're a camera kind of embedded in Wei Shen's belly button. So we're kind of getting shoved around the furniture as we go. And wow, look at that frame rate. <laughs> that's pretty terrible. So here we're dropping the amb uh, ambient occlusion down. And here we go. If and when I do other videos showing off how things are different inside the night market and various other places, I'm going to be doing them with these graphics. You can see we got a pretty good uh, mix of speed and shadows here. And in this part, we're going to see tons more pedestrians, but it's not going to chug at all. In fact, it's uh, 
faster than either of the other methods. Take a look at our uh, beautiful skybox again here. A lot of very strange changes I've noticed in other people's videos, but they haven't done, I'd say, the best job of showing things off. I have noticed NPCs wearing completely different outfits, and I have no idea what the thinking was there. Uh, and you see here, the light pop on the front door wasn't as bad as on the other two. So I think I can live with this. Alright, so hopefully that helps you out on whether to buy and which one to buy.